anyway. So yeah, it's I'm I'm like like sitting like throughout the day today prior to when we recorded, I was like just excited. I was like, man, I can't wait to talk to Kyle again and have the gang back together and just have everybody Here's shooting what I shit like. and having fun. The moment Taylor saw Kyle's lack of beard. I don't think his video even like came on yet. And he goes, oh. <laughs> I was so disappointed because I saw a photo to. of you that Kitty took where you had the beard. And I was like, man, awesome. Can't wait for him to show up. That's the only him. reason I shaved it. If she had not taken that picture and there hadn't been evidence or like, or, you know, documentation of it, then I would have been like, yep, yep, I'll, I'll just leave it on. But but I was like, ah, oh, picture's out there. I can shave now. I can. Shave. It was so uncomfortable. It was so itchy and gross, <laughs> and it was so scraggly and unattractive and just nasty. Why'd you grow it? Uh, I I don't shave with a razor. I refuse. You use an electric razor? Is that? Yeah, always, always. I've shaved with a razor, like an actual like bladed razor, about three or four times in my entire life. Uh, and oh, you just wow. didn't and, have access and, to an electric one? Like, it's not a thing you could no, do? No, it's not a thing. Um, and not the kind that I would have used. Like, I use a beard trimmer, so you can turn it. I, it's like a, it has a digital readout, so I can go to, like, 0.4 millimeters. I actually bought the one you suggested. Yeah, it's a wall, I think, perhaps. I'm not positive. Or Norelco. I, I don't really know what I've got. But I, it's got a digital readout. You beep, 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 and it goes down to 0.4 millimeters for, like, this shit up here that you want almost completely gone. And then everything else I put on, like... 2.5 millimeters or three millimeters or something like that. And just, and just get it gone. When I was done, I had, um, I wish I had, yeah, this, this looks gross, but it's Alka-Seltzer. Um, I had a, a, a cup like this and it was filled with the top with hair. Cause I didn't want it to go down the sink. Like the oh. sink was full of hair and I just grabbed it all and put it in. Like I have a glass like this, that my toothbrush sits in and I filled this entire glass like this with hair. And then hey, you went put and, your beard in a glass. That's not weird at all. It's no. It's actually in this that's trash what I can. Do. <laughs> <laughs> My beard's in this trash can. I just realized. <laughs> Hang on. You want it? I'll get it. <laughs> Your beard is is more red than I thought it would be. Mine used to be red. I mean, my, my beard is more red than you would think yeah. it is, too. Yeah. Mine's every yeah. bit as gray as you might suspect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you really your beard. <laughs> There's a little bit of it right there, Taylor. <laughs> Look at this facial hair. <laughs> yeah, I think it looked better on your yes. face. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was funny because that, that's the most facial hair I've ever seen you have, and the most I, I was hoping. A part of me kind of knew I was like, he's going to end up shaving before the show. If but I was so hoping good. that you would at least keep the stash, because of all the areas of your beard, the stash was the strongest. Yeah, yeah Kyle, sure. if you uh, like if if during the shaving process, here. you leave yeah. it as a Hitler mustache and post that to the internet. See, I don't not grow a mistake that. at all. No, See, mine, doesn't, <laughs> mine doesn't even grow in in there. Like, like I've got oh, like, no. it's just, it's just like on either side. Yeah. You've got, got like the filtrum gap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, but like it's, 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 I've got so much blonde in it that it looks awful. Like, like it's, it's like black and blonde. And then I've got like, maybe I got like eight grays that come out of my chin and it's just, it's just no good. Yeah. Even like the guy with the dreads, the guy who warned me of impending rape, he was like, he came in my, uh, cube one day while I, I just got out of the shower. My hair was all crazy and, uh, I hadn't like. Uh, I, I had pear gel in there and, uh, and, and a brush and everything. And, and I hadn't gotten through my routine yet. Of, you like, do that ready. in your cell, the routine? Uh, some of it, some of it in the, I go back in the bathroom, like I brush my teeth, obviously in the bathroom. And then I do my hair in the, in the bathroom too. But, uh, but, but my beard was all crazy from getting out of the shower and I just had like rubbed it. And so it was just sticking out crazy. He was like, damn, I, I, I was like, what? He's, he's like, you don't want to shape that up a little or at least trim this up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, I know it looks bad. If, if like mean Gene over here is telling me I need to shape it up and bring it down. I was like, well, you know, I do that show and I, you know, a lot of people watch it and I told him before I left that I wasn't going to shave. So I want to see what it's going to look like when I get out of here. Uh, I was like, I bet it looks crazy. He's like, it looks like something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like me and Gene, it's a meme. <laughs> that's what this is a meme. i've been oh, down 16 before the internet got popular. right okay. memes yeah. are like two years old well at least like 16 years you know mean gene has been down for 16 and he's got a couple more to go he had a gun uh no good Poor but, mean but what gene. was he doing with the uh he had prior fel he had two prior felonies and then he got caught with a gun in his house that's it yep that yeah depends what those felonies priors are, are a big problem Priors are a big problem, and it depends what the prior was and what your current crime is to some extent. Like a gun's a big deal. It couldn't have been just a gun. He must have lied to me because I think a gun is like it's not twenty years. 
Like, like there, he's he's probably yeah. leaving something out. Maybe he brandished one of the guys somewhere. on my YouTube channel. He has a friend, and he got caught with pot. It was in the um, I can't think of it. What do you put ashes into in a car? Ashtray. Ashtray. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. anyway, he had pot in what there. What kind of tray do you put the ashes? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I couldn't think. He had one of those cans that you put trash in. <laughs> <laughs> one of those so, mats that you put in the floor. What? <laughs> so, you know, the kind of mat you put down to welcome someone to your home. <laughs> It'll so, say, like, welcome mat sometimes. <laughs> uh, he got five years for pot yeah. in his car. And, Jesus, fuck. Yeah, but he had priors. And that, that complicates things more than I would have guessed. I would have thought... Not that he starts from scratch, but we all know pot in an ashtray is not a big deal, but it can be. One of the things that can compound that is if he were still in probation. Um, yes, I think that was the that, case. That's a big deal because oftentimes the probation is in lieu of more years. So like, all right, we're going to give you one year of prison and three years of probation. But if we catch you doing something within that three years, you're coming back and you're doing the full time that you could have gotten for that mm -hmm. first crime. Like clearly you, sh we shouldn't let you go at all. Um, I've got two years probation and the way I understand, um, the way I understand it is I can get out from under it in one year. Um, as long as I don't do anything silly. I talked to my probation officer today. Very cool guy. I like him a lot. Like I think we'd be friends uh, if we weren't, didn't have our current professional relationship. <laughs> um, we talk about cooking. We watch the same cooking YouTubers today. We were talking about frying turkeys and peanut oil versus vegetable oil and how he's got this Alton Brown designed crank to l slowly lower the bird in and all, all, all kinds of stuff like that. Real nice guy. Uh, I like him a lot. Is your mandated uh, therapy over? I think I got to take some more of that shit, man. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what my probate, my, the guy I'm referring to, he's, it seems that maybe he is like a boss now. Like maybe he got promoted since I was in. Mm -hmm. And now I've got a different probation officer who I'll contact Monday and I'll be dealing with him uh, on a personal basis. So if I want to do something like travel outside of the Northern district of Georgia, I'll have, give him a call. He'll be the one who like comes to my house every couple months and make sure I'm not running some sort of a cartel out of my basement. And he'll be the one that like, uh, you know, notifies me about things or, and, or I ask him if I want to do a thing, like if I wanted to leave the country or if I wanted to go out of state for a job opportunity or for a funeral or something like that. Can you, you know, switch he's my, states like full on? Yeah. For, for work. If, if, if I could make a good case that this were for, um, I want to start purposes. a pot YouTube channel. <laughs> well, see the thing about the, that is I think that maybe if I had been on state probation, if I had been convicted in the state mm -hmm. and I was now on state probation that I think I could have, transferred to Colorado and then under state law I could have gotten a medical marijuana license e e even as someone on probation but because I was convicted as a uh, federal um under federal law I don't I don't think that's in the cards at all you know cuz if it's federally Ill illegal for the time being for the time being we'll see we'll see come on bernie you can you can make it <laughs> there are a few areas of medicine in which I'm actually pretty well informed because I've injured myself there I feel like that's where you are with like prison and parole and stuff like a little life experience it made you a lawyer in a very specific I, way I feel like the the best chance there is for Trump to federally legalize weed is if he sees it as a big fuck you middle finger to Sessions for, for quitting. <laughs> if he's just like, I have, I, I'm a straight edge guy. You understand? I don't drink, I don't smoke. And you imagine if I did, but fuck that little elf. It's legal. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's legal. Do whatever you want. Who cares? I <laughs> wish. I wish. Uh, that would yeah. that, that would uh, that would change a lot of things for, for someone hilarious. like me who had like a minor minor uh, marijuana conviction. So all anywhere. they do on probation is like. Hey, check in with me if you want to leave the state and we'll randomly drug test you, I assume. Um, they haven't talked to me about random drug testing. I'm sure there will be. I was under random drug testing for like the last year or so. I call a number. They get, they, I have a number. I won't, let's just say my number is thir three. And a voice on the other end of the line, a person reads out that day's numbers off a sheet of paper. She goes, one, eight, seven, three. Oh, three. Okay. I don't know why I put those numbers out of order. Like I can't fucking count. But if she <laughs> says my order. number, yeah. But if she says sure my number, listening. I uh, <laughs> I have to go to like the facility that's about 15 minutes away. And, you know, they, they, they know I'm scheduled that day. And I go in the back, I piss in a cup and I just immediately leave. Um, like, like no big deal. Do they watch you um, pee in the cup? Nope. Nope. Nobody watches. Uh, even today, I, I, I peed today uh, for, for the guy I was just talking about, the, the probation guy. And, uh, you know, you, he had a. I've seen three different kinds of tests. 
Uh, but his test looked very expensive. Uh, you peed in this cup and tilted the cup a little bit toward yourself with the cap on. And mm-hmm. then there's like, I'm going to say eight different little bars that are that go vertically oh. up the side. And each one slowly fills up red. And then above that, there's a thing that says like positive or negative. And for each substance, and it's like eight different substances, you know, but opiates, I think, I, I think Oxycontin was just on its own. Um, huh. uh, MDMA, um, you know, marijuana, all, just like everything you can think of. And, uh, you know, I did that. Do you ever worry about false positives? I'm no. sure. No, you don't. We're I just, do. We, we just go again. In my, well, my concern came from, like, I had to take a drug test once, like 20 some years ago. But I had had bagels with poppy seeds on them. I found out that's actually a thing that can. I don't know if it's still true, but it could. It be can. I felt taught us that. <laughs> and it's uh, true. I was like, "What? It like? I don't know. What if this thing screws up?" What if... Yeah, it can. Um, it, it it definitely can. I mean, I don't eat poppy seeds. That's not a concern for me personally. But even if it did, um, I think there's a way to differentiate uh, between the poppy seeds and the uh, and, and actual opiates. I mean, but, uh, now too. Yeah, they can tell if you eat a lot of Burger King or if you're taking. Well, that's sesame pills. seeds. Oh, yeah. Well, the then poppy they can seeds are on everything bagels. bagels, which is my exposure to them. Yeah, oh, everything bagels are the best bagels. <laughs> yeah, I don't eat bagels, so so we're all good there. Um, but but yeah, no, I never worry about that. Um, uh, I don't think I've ever been worried taking a drug test because you know I'm not stupid. Um, I, I don't. I'm not I'm not on any drugs. I feel like you'd have to be just like such a piece of shit, such a dumbass to to fail that drug test when you're on probation. Like, oh yeah, People how bad do. did you? I was all the time, girl. She, today, oh, I thought you were the girl. I heard that girl. is girl, and I'm like, well, I've been <laughs> called a lot, but okay, I'll roll. Oh, yeah, tell me more, sweetie. Girlfriend, you won't even believe <laughs> this bitch oh. came in right after me today, and she popped for oxycontin. That would have she been did. the funniest timeline if Kyle gets out of prison and we're like, Kyle, what's new? And you're like, mm, <laughs> man, let me let me break it down and tell you what's new. There's a lot of new things, and you're about to listen to all of them in order. And like, <laughs> for just like, but why'd you start talking like a woman though? <laughs> well, that's thing number one. <laughs> that's thing number one. I got turned out four hours in. And I learned to embrace myself. I liked it, kind of. <laughs> I'm going back. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going back. I'm back. I'm I mean, I've had back. to take a, a drug test before for like an internship I had like 10 years ago or something. Yeah. And like, I wasn't even doing drugs. But the, like the fact that my pee was in there, I was just like, I, I hope they don't find anything. <laughs> and then like, there's nothing. I'm just there. taking so many at this point that I'm pretty comfortable with it. Like I must have taken. Uh, yeah a dozen, 20 of them, something like that, you know, uh, quite, quite a few. So, uh, you know, at this point I just don't care. 